This presentation will give an overview of the parts of the Security Council resolution and highlight the features of resolutions that make them good starting points for research. We will use Security Council Resolution 2507-2020 as an example. To start, I'll just point out a few things about the masthead of the document. The document symbol is found in the upper right corner of the document. The resolution number is incorporated into the document symbol. Security Council resolutions do not have titles that indicate the topic of the resolution. There are two dates on the first page of the document. Publication date at the top right and adoption date following the resolution number. In this case, the dates are the same, but sometimes the publication date may be a few days after the date of adoption. The meeting at which the resolution was adopted is also provided. To find the meeting record, use document symbol s slash pv dot plus the meeting number, in this case s slash pv dot 8712. The first part of the text of resolutions is called the preamble. The preambular paragraphs begin with verbs ending in ing. They provide the background and context for the resolution, recalling, welcoming, the preamble often cites documents and resolutions that the Council considered during its deliberations. The cited documents are usually linked and displayed in blue. These citations are often helpful for researchers to learn more about the previous decisions, reports, and related materials. Some resolutions have the phrase at the end of the preamble, acting under Chapter 7 of the Charter of the United Nations. This indicates that the Security Council may be calling upon member states to take certain actions in relation to the res resolution. Not all resolutions include this phrase. The operative paragraphs are numbered and the verb changes to an active form. This part of the resolution usually contains the decisions or actions that the Security Council is calling for. This is where you will find mandates given to peacekeeping operation, or the sanctions that may be imposed, or a request for a report. Some resolutions are quite long and complex, and others may be quite brief. To recap, Security Council resolutions have two main parts. The preambular paragraphs set out the background or context of the resolution, and the operative paragraphs contain the decisions of the Council on the topic of the resolution, including mandates or sanctions. If a Security Council resolution has the phrase acting under Chapter 7 of the Charter of the United Nations, this indicates that the resolution contains actions that member states are expected to carry out. More information about Security Council resolutions can be found in our research guides. If you have more questions, contact us through ASDAG.